Uh, I'm against fraud. I think everyone here is against it. I'm for what's in this bill. That's why I voted for it back in uh, December. And I'll vote for it next month, too, if that will uh, uh, make uh, for uh, more cooperation here in the House. Uh, I, uh, I think that, in a way, this is this election year's welfare Cadillac. And I was against welfare Cadillacs, if there ever were any of those, too. This year, we have the strip, cl strip club loophole that has been defined as a political term to suggest that we have a lot of problems with poor people uh, abusing their benefits. And to the extent that any poor person abuses even a dollar of these benefits and keeps those benefits out of the mouths of hungry children, providing the clothes those kids need to go to school, I'm against it, and I plan to vote against it today. Uh, I, uh, I favor uh, comprehensive legislation against fraud in public assistance. It concerns me when a pharmaceutical company uh, ends up having to settle for $158 million in my home state of Texas because they allegedly lied about drug safety and bribed officials. It concerns me when a pharmaceutical company in the state of Texas has an $84 million fraud case brought against them. I, need, I think we need to be concerned about fraud in all of its aspects. Uh, I, uh, I'd feel better about this bill, however, because I think repassing it will accomplish practically nothing. I'd feel much better about this legislative effort. If there were just an ounce of the concern that is voiced about the very few people who abuse these benefits, if the same level of concern was expressed about the many who are there who are counting on the safety net as flawed and frayed as it is, who were concerned about them and their families and their struggle to share in the American dream and we're doing something to get that approved. Yes, we approve this piece of legislation as part of a broader extension of the Temporary Assistance to Needy Families program in December, and why hasn't that become a law? It is separate legislation pending in the Senate. It is also part of the broader legislation extending uh, the provisions on unemployment, on payroll tax relief. It ought to become law because we need to be concerned about those families that are playing by the rules as well as the very few who are not playing by the rules. Now, the gentleman has said that in some states, action has already been taken, California notably, to deal with the few who might be cashing their benefits at a casino or a liquor store or whatever. Texas state was cited as one of those states that has already taken action. I think that's great. There is not anything to keep the states from taking action on this already, if this is a serious problem. Now, some of them have not acted, not because of a lack of concern about fraud, but because the mechanics of correcting these electronic benefit cards may actually be more expensive than the cost that is being experienced by the small number of people that might abuse the card. You take Arizona, for example. Governor Brewer has plenty of time to shake her finger in the face of the President of the United States to enact legislation, support legislation, to discriminate against Hispanic families who have been in that state for longer than she and her family have been in the state. Uh, if she thinks this is a serious problem, why doesn't she act at the state level, as Texas and some other, California and some other states have done, to address this problem? I would submit that while I don't object to this legislation in and of itself, that the bigger problem that we face is that the number of poor American families has surged uh, over the last four years up 27 percent. Ten million people are below what is officially agreed on as being the poverty line. And this temporary assistance to needy families program provides a very small portion of those families a little bit of assistance to have a chance to turn their lives around until they can find uh, longer-term employment to provide for their, for their families.